The Amazing Digital Circus is probably one of the most unhinged things I've seen in a while. And I love it. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh my gosh! Hey, Raggedy Ann's dead! <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you have seen or at least heard of the show that's been sweeping across all corners of the internet. And for those of you who haven't yet, are probably wondering, what in the name of is the Amazing Digital Circus? Well, it's a show made by Gooseworks and Glitch Production, which is well known for their other shows such as Runner, Sunset Paradise, and the ever-beloved Murder Drones. Bruh. Recently, the pilot episode has launched on their channel, and oh boy, it certainly has gone viral. As of writing the script, the first episode has over 20 million views. Now that's a lot of damage! All over, you can see people praising the show, some already calling it an absolute masterpiece. Now, I'll be honest with you, when the show was first announced around 8 months ago, I wasn't exactly too interested in it. While I thought it definitely had an interesting premise and looked visually stunning, I didn't really find myself too excited for it. However, after watching the first episode, I can safely say that I really enjoyed it. Its amazing art style, wacky characters, and sublime humor are just top notch. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was good, that was the dummy too. Man, I thought Murder Drums was crazy enough with its dark, violent storytelling, but Digital Circus somehow does that just as well, all the while having a colorful, bright aesthetic. I gotta say, they really outdone themselves with the world design, really going all out with the whole toy-like circus theme that feels super welcoming and inviting, all the while having a bit of creepiness to it. As for the premise of the story, it's actually pretty simple. So far, at least. I'm sure it will change very soon. Having a girl named Pomni find herself stuck in a virtual world after playing the most recent FNAF VR game. This wild world and all of its inhabitants is run by the ringmaster named Kane, who is 100% the best character in the show, don't at me, and is definitely going to be the twist villain or something like that. I'm calling it right now. So far, the plot hasn't had really too much happen yet, besides Pomni trying to escape the digital realm and failing miserably, and the rest of the gang fighting an eel from Mario and glitchy Skullipede covered in eyes, but hey, it's only the pilot episode. They mostly exist just to set up the story and world, so obviously it's not going to be the most exciting thing ever. I'm sure later crazier events will play out like big plot twists and a lot more character development and stuff like that. Speaking of the characters, they're probably what I'm most excited to learn more about in the future, as all of them also seem to be stuck in this world as well, so I'm sure they all have a lot of interesting backstories. Knowing how glitch shows go though, I'm guessing most of them are going to be super dark. It's going to be like Kirby lore all over again, isn't it? Some of these characters include our main protagonist, Pomni, as mentioned earlier, and her favorite pastime is having mental breakdowns like every four minutes. I don't know, maybe she accidentally googled herself or something? Kane, like I said, is my favorite character of the show so far. He just has this chaotic, neutral energy to him, and his humor absolutely takes the cake. Ow! You parasite! I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the fan favorite Jax, which, can I just say how hilarious it is we went from having Michael Kovach voicing a lovable idiot to voicing a lovable asshole. Man, this dude's just super talented. Give this guy a medal. And then that leaves all the others, such as Kingler, Ragatha, and Gangal, which we don't really know too much about, but I'm sure that will change soon as the show progresses. But part of me is a little worried about the huge abundance of characters mimicking the same problem that the SMG4 channel has, which is only really ever using three or four of the characters, and then the rest just sit on the sidelines getting no development or screen time. Hopefully I'm just overthinking this and that won't happen. Like seriously, I WANT TO KNOW MORE ABOUT KINGLER'S INSECT COLLECTION! Overall, I definitely feel The Amazing Digital Circus is a super fun show so far, being fantastically animated with great humor and definitely has some really great story to tell us in the future. But some Glitch fans might be asking, is this show better than something like the esteemed Murder Drones? Well, I don't really think that's something I can answer quite yet. Sure, the pilot has more views than any Murder Drones episode thus far, However, we've only barely scraped the surface of this insane show. I don't think comparing the two of them is really that fair at this point. I feel like we should wait a bit. For the time being, I suggest you go check out The Amazing Digital Circus and all the other great creations Glitch Production has. Now if you'll excuse me, 
I'm gonna go look for one of these watches Kane is selling, as well as some other useless crap I probably don't need. Pony, I have snorted a suitcase full of coke, and I'm starting to feel the effects. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video. If you did enjoy it, please do hit the like and subscribe button, as it really helps out the channel. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the amazing digital circus. And I'd like to apologize for taking so long to get this video out. I'm kind of just getting over being sick. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But hey, regardless, I really appreciate you watching the video, and I'll see you guys later. I will be taking my leave now. You have a great rest of your day.